What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Brian G right here back with an exciting episode. This will be a quick one, all right? I just wanted to actually share with you guys one of the coolest Funko Pop ever made. I'm talking about this, man. This is the Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock with the WWE ring, all right? And man it is such a freaking cool pop and i just actually wanted to do a quick unboxing uh video with you and man i just wanted to show you the details of this pop man it's such a freaking awesome pop and to be honest with you um you know i'm a huge wwe fan way back then when i was still in high school and uh, elementary i love uh brett the hitman heart um Shawn Michaels, we got Triple H, and of course uh, the era of Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, of course Hulk Hogan and all that. And I actually wanted to collect the line, but it's just way too many of uh, the pops, and I, I can't keep up with everything. So when I saw this, um, I was thinking, that's a cool pop to actually own, and uh, and uh, hope I was actually hoping to. Uh, um, I was actually hoping that Funko will not stick the pop on uh, the the ring, and uh, when I once I got it, I actually got two of these because I so freaking love it, and uh, I opened it up just to check if the pops are like uh, being uh, glued on the ring. But check it out, guys. So here it is. Let me take it out of the box for you. I mean, this certain pop makes you want to collect WWE Funko Pops if you ask me personally uh, this got me thinking of you know probably getting the uh, OG Undertaker and uh, some of the other wrestlers that I really loved back then and uh, just play around with them you know putting them inside the ring and check it out guys and uh, yes these two pops you can actually take out uh, uh, they're not glued not like uh, I was thinking you know it was like the same as the pop rides uh, you can see the pop riding the car or something but you can take them out you can take out the pop it's just it's just there you know and uh, you, unless if you want to destroy the pop then you can take the pop out of the uh, the car that they're in but I thought it was like uh, you know similar to that great news if you guys haven't got this yet and you're a huge WWE fan now and before as well just like me I'm a huge WWE fan before and uh, I, I'm not watching I actually don't even know the new wrestlers uh, I only know the old ones but if you're a huge fan and you want to get something uh, for uh, for the WWE line this is perfect for you all right so once again let me show you guys the two pops that goes with the WWE ring first up we got the rock and check out the rock right there and of course the eyebrows I think this is the right eyebrow being raised all right uh, I think you can see that right right above his shades right there the rock with a signature uh, pose so uh, check it out such a cool pop and of course uh, they do have uh, the rocks uh, tattoo swell on the arms the Brahma bull on his right shoulder and of course this uh, gothic looking tattoo on his left shoulder and of course the second pop that goes along with this is none other than the baddest son of a bitch <laughs> in the planet I'm talking about uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin all right Austin 316 man with the signature shirt uh, that says Stone Cold although I would have loved it if uh, you know it says Austin 316 but anyway I'm not uh, I don't mind of course at the back you can see his logo and of course he has his uh, signature knee braces as well that protects him from injuries so uh, that's the second pop that goes with this and yes for the finale I'm gonna show you the coolest accessory for Funko Pops ever made. I mean, ever made. Man, check it out. It is 
the WWE ring. All right. So here it is, guys. Here it is. It is the WWE Raw ring. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. I mean, you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, especially me. I love taking pictures of the Funko Pops. I can, you know, I was like playing around with it. I can, I was like thinking, putting on the, the rock right here. And uh, he stands up as well. Of course, we, at the background, we got Steve Austin on the opposite corner and just taking a picture of these two getting ready to actually fight inside the ring. And uh, I don't know, I'm just going to do this slowly. Oops, and I dropped the rock. But, you know, the... the you can do a lot of things. I do have the, the common Brett the Hitman heart and the Undertaker. I'm going to take them out of the box, put them right here in the ring, and just take pictures of it. You know, uh, As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you uh, some of the pictures that I took uh, when it comes to playing around with this cute WWE ring uh, on screen right now. And uh, I got to say, this is one of the coolest Funko Pops that I ever bought. Man, I love 10 inch pops. Uh, I do love the Pop Towns. I do love the uh, Pop Rides as well. What else do I got uh, when it comes to like uh, those, uh, the, the TV moments, the movie moments pop? I also definitely love them. But this one goes straight on top of my list. It makes me want to get Triple H, makes me want to get like Mankind, uh, Kane. It, you know, and, and some of the other less wrestlers back then that I really, really love watching. Shawn Michaels, Randy Savage, Macho Man, uh, what else? So, you know, and all those other wrestlers back then that I really love watching. And, you know, just putting them on top of the ring and taking pictures of them. You know, maybe holding the uh, championship belt. I all actually saw, like, a replica uh, championship belt over at Shopee wherein you know it's it's a small replica belt wherein you can uh, uh, display it together with your Funko Pop maybe wrap around uh, the rocks uh, waist with with the championship belt and of course Steve Austin as well and man uh, you can do a lot of things when it comes to getting this Funko Pop and uh, I think this sold out pretty quick and uh, hopefully you guys got it Hopefully you got you guys pre-ordered this one because if you didn't and you're a huge WWE fan, man, you're missing out one of the best Funko Pops ever made. I, I mean, trust me, one of the best Funko Pops ever made. I can even put my oh, uh, out-of-the-box Mani Pacquiao and just, you know, turn it around, get rid of the Raw, uh, WWE Raw logo, and put Mani Pacquiao right at the center and just taking a picture of him it you know it's just you can even you know uh, uh, have this like a boxing ring man or you know a UFC ring or whatever you can do a lot of things with this when it comes to like having um, uh, athletes or specifically wrestlers and boxers and you know and you love taking pictures of them this is a great Funko Pop to get but anyway like I said I'm going to stop talking already. I know I've been saying a lot of things when it comes to acquiring uh, this certain pop. But, you know, I'm just so happy. This is such an amazing, amazing idea for Funko to actually do. It makes you want to actually collect some of your favorite wrestlers back then and now. Just to play around with them inside this mini ring. Alright, so uh, there it is, guys. Just a quick unboxing. Just wanted to show you guys the Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and The Rock. Funko Pop, all right. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't. It's not a pop ride. It just says Pop WWE with Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, and of course with the WWE Monday Night Raw ring. All right. So there it is. Yeah, check it out. It's it's really cool. I'm just gonna do it slowly. All right. Uh, just you know, just, if you guys can imagine, that is the frame uh, of my screen right there and check out these two and imagine taking pictures of them playing around with them as well um, but anyway there it is just a quick unboxing just wanted to show you guys the Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock with the WWE ring uh, for me one of the best Funko Pops ever made alright in my opinion 
So thank you so much for joining. Uh, I do have uh, another video coming right up. I'm going to uh, be unboxing the My Hero Academia Funko Mystery Mini Boxes. All right, so do check it out. Uh, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell as well to get notified of my future videos. And uh, that's it for me. I'll probably be playing around more when it comes to uh, this set. But anyway, uh, do follow me on Instagram. I'll definitely post some pictures of uh, these uh, pops. So uh, do check it out. And uh, thank you so much. This has been Brian G. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.